New tonight at 530. The last few years have been been devastating for a lot of restaurants between the COVID-19 closures to staffing shortages. As 10 TV's Lacey Crisp explains tonight, there's one local restaurant that has not only survived, but thrived. There you go. Eight years. Yeah. Countless mistakes, a global pandemic multiple restaurants. Um, it's been a wild eight years. It's been eight years since Joe DeLoss and his wife came up with the idea of hot chicken takeover. We started frying chicken in our living room, you know, eight years ago. And uh, in fact, fried so much chicken that I had to throw away some curtains because they smelled terrible. Along with tasty chicken and sides, the business leaves a good taste in your mouth as well. Yeah, our business was intentionally built to hire folks that have been affected by adversity. And so that adversity shows up in people's lives as being involved in the justice system, um, being affected by homelessness, um, incarceration, addiction. Especially with the pandemic, many have faced adversity in the past two years. DeLoss explains they were able to survive and thrive throughout the pandemic thanks to their staff. They were able to open two new locations during the pandemic. Through COVID-19, um, when every other restaurant was recalling, you know, 20 to 30 percent of their team prior to the pandemic, we had a 90 percent recall of our team because people were eager to get back to work. DeLoss explains because of their hiring practices and the way they treat their employees, he says they haven't faced some of the same staffing issues other restaurants are facing. It's kind of common sense to me, but if you treat people well, they will treat you well. Uh, it's the golden rule. Um, a lot of employers in particular, I think a lot of employers that are having a particularly hard time now have spent decades behaving pretty predatorily towards entry level employees. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Hot Chicken Takeover currently has seven locations and the law says there are more to come.